Hey guys, how's it going? Kyle here, and today uh, just doing a brief, well, a final update, I suppose. Uh, we totally did not get to do what I hoped to do with this. This is my buddy's uh, Nathan's. Uh, man, we he just got so busy, and then his only time frame to be able to do it was uh, whenever he could do it. So uh, it turned into just kind of his project that he did, and uh, it was unfortunate because I really wanted to be a much more of a part of it. And uh, kind of document it, but uh, everything's doing pretty well. His fish are happy. He's gotten a couple of fish uh, in here. So uh, right now it's just a, a matter of kind of growing the herd. And uh, this, these are excess glue from the inside. Uh, it's on the inside of the tank and uh, he's kind of used the razor blade and everything like that. And it, I, I don't know if it's just kind of like stuck into the glass or what, but uh, yeah, that's that's just kind of there. It's, you know, not a big deal. It'll probably go over with over time. Uh, but he has definitely gotten some new inhabitants, so a little feather duster, and uh, quite a few new things. So, anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you what we got going on, and then I'm going to step out into the garage and show you that too. All right, and then this is kind of the. To me, it's the thing that you want to see. Uh, this is the uh, sump area and auto top off here and then this is for a freshwater feeder tank you don't even need to worry about that that's for uh, a cichlid that eats live bait live food so uh, we got a 30 gallon tank down here that is attached to his auto top off that feeds this guy here the auto top off is the sensor back there somewhere and so but he's got uh this uh ecotech big daddy vortex vortex pump and that's what's feeding the return to the house and then um, his RDI he's got there. Uh, he's got the skim sump, which is just turning away. Uh, it looks like it's a little loose right now, but uh, it's doing enough of the job, which is great. And then, uh, but then yeah, the plumbing here, we've got uh, the red, red lines here, the drain lines from the uh, inside. And, you know, even with the, the waters up there, you know, so the water's got enough pressure to push down and, and bring it back up. So, and then uh, these guys are, uh, he's just got some canisters full of uh, rubble down in here. And he's got a really big high door that is just blowing and keeping the base of this super clean. Uh, then he has this pump, which drives his manifold where he has uh, the VRS uh, carbon and GFO reactor. And then on top of that, this is the most fun part if you ask me, is his refugium section. And so he's built this guy just from here to on top of this. Uh, and so it, it runs in here, it is distributed uh, here. We've got some rubble down here on the bottom travels up and then he drilled all these holes through made it have it come across to the uh, Cheeto area where there's just tons of life and activity in here uh, which is awesome see a bunch of little bitty copepods crawling all over the skeleton there which is uh, like skeleton the stuff out there then he has another high door pump in here focus there you go that is just blowing around the top and kind of keeping the water circulating in here. Much coarser gravel in this area. And just some decorative stuff. He hasn't quite figured out what he wants to do with this guy yet or how he wants to, which has been, again, drilled through holes. Uh, and he included uh, just a air, air line in here to help balance with pH and make sure that he gets plenty of fresh air into the uh, into the system, which I mean, you can just see the water agitation. I don't, I would not be worried about that much at all. And then over here, it's just re gravity fed because so there's a pump over here that feeds the manifold, and then there's just a drain here that drains out and back down to uh, down these lines here. So these two lines are land back into the main sump, and the water gets recycled. And then he has the second line for an emergency valve in the sense, in the event that uh, something crazy happened, it, it would drain out of here. And then thirdly, this stand 
is basically covered with so much lacquer, not lacquer, but like polycarbonate, polycarbonate. Oh, polyurethane, that's what I'm trying to say. It is I mean, basically plastic. So it's essentially waterproof. It's been uh, silicone down here, and it's basically a big basin. And he's got a drain here as well that would tie into if there was some crazy, if both of these somehow got stopped up uh, and it started overflowing, it would overflow into here, we're in the garage, so it would overflow the front and it would fill up here and this water would then go out. He, he would run a, uh, another drain out and out the garage. So uh, that's kind of the deal. So anyways, I just wanted to share uh, and then his water making station he's got over here, which I'm, I'm pretty sure you've seen before. But that's, that's what he's got for now. And uh, then the idea is that his water, all this stuff is going to end up being over here on this wall, on that stand. And so this thing is going to be over here, and that will allow us to have a massive frag area to uh, propagate and do coral and anything else that one you know is wanted to be done. So uh, it's a pretty legit setup. Uh, he doesn't have any of the uh, any of like the controllers or anything yet. He's just said, you know what, I want to get the thing going. So we got it going. He bought the skimmer off Black Friday at VRS. Uh, so, but everything he is thrilled with, I'm proud of, it's awesome. Oh, oh, he's also working on the uh, algae scrubber, he's going to work on that too. Uh, you can see the tank inside is just a little bit green, but uh, that will live over here, that it'll be fed off of this as well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Really, really, really cool setup, so he's done great. Uh, but anyways, I just kind of wanted to say, you know, give you a final, I might, I, I will probably add one more once everything else has been done. Uh, I'll add one more. Uh, video to this playlist, but uh, for now I'll call it done for what it is. So thanks guys I appreciate you uh, Just go ahead and like subscribe anything that you could and will do if you'd like to especially if you'd like to kind of see the future of it uh, That would be awesome. Bye